Hey everybody, um, I wanted to talk to you guys a little bit about something that I noticed. Um, I like to watch the Property Brothers. I like how um, they're able to turn people's current homes into like these beautiful um, oases um, like of serenity and peace and how they make the room look something totally different from what it really is and then um, find them a, a beautiful home so that they can sell their old house and get into something bigger. So um, watching this, I noticed how um, a lot of people have like terrible um, anxiety about letting things go and mainly their houses. Even though they know that their children are um, packed upon each other and they know they need to move, but how um, anxious that they are. There was this family of four, um, this mother and this, this, this husband, they had a daughter, I think she might have been like 16 years old, and then there were like three other kids that were like back to back, but they were younger. And one of, like the mother, you can tell that the mother had serious anxiety issues. Um, the way that she was talking about everything, like she wouldn't even, the property brothers, I think Jonathan was the one, the one who does the demolition of the home. Um, Jonathan had told them that they needed to clean out everything um, and store it away. They had these big old um, like storage um, units outside of their home and they're supposed to put all this stuff in there. And so the kids room, she would not do because she said that it would make them feel anxious and it really wasn't the kids so to speak it was her but I saw also when in some part of the show where they had the mother and the kid um kind of talking like she the mother was talking to the kids or their parents actually but the mother was looking at this one particular kid and I could see how her anxiety became his anxiety and it was it was something to see and it's I've been talking about this a lot, how that we um, train up our children, basically, how we train them up. Um, we make people feel like they need to be anxious with us or um, a lot of things that we do in society, we, we have prefabricated um, feelings, which means that because we're supposed to feel a certain way, we feel that way or we make ourselves feel that way when it's so unnecessary. You know, I think, and not to say that anxiety, people who suffer from anxiety, that they don't have real issues. That's not what I'm saying. But I think sometimes if we look at some of the things that we are anxious over, like it really, it really um, doesn't serve us to be anxious about those particular things. And again, I think a lot of the things that we are anxious over or have certain feelings about, they're prefabricated. They're feelings that you know, we were told that we should feel this way about this particular certain thing and so we do and then we have these judgments sometimes that comes behind it or these um, issues that come behind it because we feel a certain way. Um, I dare anybody who is beginning to feel anxious about a certain thing is to really think about it like why am I anxious about that you know. Um, None of us knows what's going to happen tomorrow, but we can kind of direct how we feel about those things, which makes us kind of not have to be so, um, you know, nervous or have ulcers or whatever may come behind those particular things. Um, and one of the, one of, it's almost, it's really, it's really funny how everything that we do has some kind of therapy kind of behind it. There was one family, um, the mother was was kind of trying to control how they did things and which was really funny because you know she's not the real estate specialist or guru she's not the um um renovation guru and not to say that she can't you know put her input in there but as they're you know kind of trying to tell her certain things in order to get the house to have more value she was trying to dictate kind of how they did that and which at the end I mean they got money you know what they wanted but they could have gotten more you know what I'm saying I think sometimes we just really um don't we we really have we don't I guess in, in life some of the things that we haven't had control over so we try and make sure you know in our adult lives that we have control over everything we don't really need control over everything it's, control is 
it's a whole other uh, prefabricated thing as well. We really don't need control over everything. I need control over this will so that I can get to where I'm going, you know. Um, but certain things that happen in life, you know, certain people have expertise about something. I don't have to be in control of those things. That's why I hired those person, people to do that particular job because they can do it well and they know exactly what they're talking about, you know. So, again, it's just really, you know, it's funny how you look at things and you can see um, how that, you know, as a people, how how um, we show up in the world and every it shows up in everything that we do. Home buying, I mean, like seriously, renovation, things of that nature, who we are really shows up wherever, no matter what it is that we do. And I just kind of want to talk to talk about that today. You guys have a great day. Peace.